Hey, 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 guess who's back? Frank? I'm so glad to see you again. I'm so happy to be here again. I guess Morgan didn't stick around to welcome me back. Good riddance. Hell yeah, that clueless piece of work. Tell me more. How'd you get rid of him? Well, what can I say? Don't mess with the big boys. I guess they didn't understand that some of my customers do a little more than talking about their cats. Ooh, this sounds very juicy. Frank Coleman's no stranger to the high-stakes game. I've got lawyers in my inner circle. All it took were a couple of lawsuit threats. Sweet. That should keep them off our backs for a while. Haha, <laughs> yes. But that buffoon will be back. You can bet on it. Let's dial down the betting for a while, Frank. Haha, <laughs> Meredith. I better get back to work. A very good morning, Providence Oaks. Pio Positive or Fat P. I wonder what it'll be today. Actually, no. Nancy, the floor is yours. Yeah. Jack, I've got a pet peeve. Why do people start big coughing when I'm smoking in my store? If you don't like it, just leave. Thank you much, Nancy. And, well, if you're asking... Here's your mail. Driving along the highway above the side of Hello? Friday delivery day. Well, just call me Friday delivery K. Okay, no, that sounded better in my head. Someone's in a good mood today. Yes, thanks for looking after Max and Gracie last night. You were a real trooper for stepping in last minute. No problem, they were great. I appreciate the lie. <laughs> so, how was the concert? <laughs> oh yeah, man, Journey is so good. Those songs have been stuck in my head all day. Yeah, but Journey? I know, right? There's just so much cool stuff being created right now, you know? I mean, Journey was cool. I got to know them through Barry at first, but I tell you, if Prince or New Order ever came to Portland, I would sell my spleen for tickets. Still into music, huh? Oh, and I haven't even mentioned Cyndi Lauper, or Run DMC, or Stevie Wonder. And before you go there, I know you're probably setting up a joke about spleens and ham and organs right now. Joke's on you, because I don't even know what that means. You know, music organ, body organ. Never mind. All jokes aside, though, I spent half the concert thinking about how I haven't really focused on my own music for a while now. Kids, work, all that stuff. So much going on. And I mean, I love tinkering, but right now, I'm not sure I'm even creating anything cool or just... You know, not even Barry is allowed to listen to my songs at this stage, to be honest. I'd love to hear your music sometime. I'm sure it's great. Thanks for the vote of confidence. 
Maybe I'll hold you to that. I was thinking, I have a mixtape with some of my stuff, you know? Just something I've been trying out with my new synthesizer. I'd be honored. That's great! It's just something I've been playing around with. Don't expect any fireworks. And hey, don't tell me what you think yet, yeah? You'll be my secret special audience of one. So I can get used to the idea of an audience. Any special reason? Okay, don't tell anyone. But I'm thinking of performing a song on my new synth this Sunday. Holy crap, I just said that out loud. Dude! You are coming to the open mic, right? Of course, that's great! Wild horses couldn't drag me away. But act cool, yeah? No one else knows yet. See you there. Sure thing. Back to my own journey for now. Haha. <laughs> nope, ignoring that. Bye now. Interesting. Robert. How are you? I was away for a few days, on an urgent job out of state. I'm good. It's nice to see you again. Here's the mail. Thanks, and likewise. Hmm, priority mail from Town Hall. Let's see what they have to say this time. Dear Mr. Harris, on behalf of yada yada yada, 
concerning Environmental Management Act 1213, yada, yada, yada. Uh, wait. What? <laughs> Listen to this. We have decided to postpone the construction of apartments for at least six months. We hope this satisfies you as well as the many residents of Providence Oaks that contacted us with their unfiltered and enthusiastic comments. It worked. The plan worked. Wow, great. So happy for you, Robert. We need to celebrate this. Uh, how about tomorrow night? Steak dinner at Moe's or something else on me. Oh, I'd love that. Great. It's going to be fun. See you tomorrow night then. Gotta go now. The telephone troops need to know the assault can be abandoned.
Ah, the waxworms have arrived. Excuse me? I meant the package, Miss Weiss. It's my worms. For fishing. They're just in time. I'm taking a boat to the island this afternoon. Oh, nice. A boat trip. Hey, you can tag along if you want, like your father used to. But I'm not helping you with any wax worms. Oh, really? Sounds like fun. Okay, we'll show up here at 4 p.m. sharp. So, is this a quiet day, or does it always take this long? Fishing requires patience. We've only been here for two hours. I'm afraid patience is not my strong suit. Yeah, there's a fine line between boredom and relaxation. I find it hard to relax sometimes. Fishing also requires silence. Bert, can I ask you a question? <sighs> about life. Life, huh? I'll tell you about it. When I was young, I joined the Navy. Saw more in one year than anyone should have to see in an entire lifetime. <sighs> we ought to be heading back home. It's been a fine day, and I thank you for the company. Kay's tape. Let's have a listen. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Driving along the highway, headlights light up the sign. Thinking of what might have been Radio keeps track of time Hello? Hi, Meredith. Guess what I signed today? Hmm, let me think. The ma ma, -ma monster deal Oh, yes. You are now talking to Steve Mitchell, CEO of a multi-million dollar enterprise. But, before I continue my insufferable bragging, I have a thing or two to say. To you. About you. You've been a huge part of the success of this company. And I feel this is just the beginning. We're entering the golden age of personal computers and we've got front row tickets. The past two weeks have made me realize that I couldn't have done it without you. And I'm going to need you even more in the coming years. So, 
Here's a new monster deal I want you to think about. Become a partner in the company for 20% of the shares and a significant pay raise. Significant. The only condition is that I need your commitment for the next five years. So, there it is. Think about it, and let's talk about it more when you're back in the office. This is a bit of a surprise. Just let it sink in a bit. I don't need an answer right now. I have to get back to my uh, million dollar lifestyle. Actually, no, I, I need to get cranking on lots of stuff. Talk soon, Meredith. Good evening, feline friends. Aunt Meredith's gonna keep you company tonight. Come here. Kiki! Ow! 